Hey Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel, Kenny Stitches. If you are a new viewer, thanks for checking out this video. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Um, this is my post market video. I was lucky enough to go to market this year with my friend Karen at Meridian Designs. And I'll talk about all that in a little bit in the video. Uh, first, we'll start with my whips in pro or works in progress. <sighs> Excuse me. My first whip was Gone Batty by With Thy Needle and Thread. It's on a purple Jobelin from Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, the pattern's somewhere in my whip parade mess that's still not put away. Then in the car on the way down to Nashville, I worked on Sweet Bears from Soda Stitch. And this is stitched on a Brittany Opal from Crafty Kitten, it's called Snapdragon. There we go. And then after that, I worked on, or before that, I worked on the Pink Sparrow a little bit, sampler from With Thy Needle and Thread again. So I finished this alphabet band, and then the flower border above it, and um, it's stitched on Tiramisu 40 count linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. Then the last whip I, well, it's actually I, a new start I had. This is Isabella Ufendel 1829 from Hands Across the Sea. I started this on Queen Anne's Lace Jobelin from um, Witchell. And I'm using the DMCs in it. I didn't want to spring for the MPI, so it's a huge chart. This fabric's like 28 by 38 on 32 count, and it's going to leave me pretty much a two inch border all the way around. So the geisha that I was stitching for Autumn Lane Stitchery, she's done. She was on display at Nashville. Um, she's going to be being released really soon um, and when she does I'll let you guys know when and where you can get that so next is my my pre-market haul um, I got my first bag from Garon Toten bags uh, this is the first month I was in and this month's bags were shamrocks and clovers it's really sparkly in person and I can't wait to use it Next, I got, I placed an order with pole stitches, and this was the fabric that I got. It's called Kingfisher, and it's 32 count Belfast linen. It's lighter in person. I don't know how to get a more accurate photo, but it's coral and purple and blue and got some splotches with white in there, but it's super pretty. I went to a stitch day in um, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, um, and it's put on in the Facebook group, My Southern Porch, and my friend Katrina, aka Pajama Stitcher, was there with her pop-up shop, and so I got a couple pieces of fabric from her and a pattern. This is Calliope 32 Count Linen from Under the Sea Fabrics. This is her February fabric of the month that she just happened to have a piece of. And I got a piece of Hamlet, this really dark blue purple from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's 28 count, regular linen. And I got this tiny modernist pattern I've had my eye on it for a while. It's just been sitting in my wish list and she had it. So I picked that up. All you need is love. My friend Julie, she sent me late Christmas present, but she sent the shabby advent calendar autumn from Quarry Batacor. I'm going to butcher it, but the autumn one is my favorite, followed by the winter. So, um, Hopefully, I'll start this one sometime soon. And she also sent me 
Dragonfly Dreams by the by the Blackberry Rabbit. It's huge. It's 294 by 294, all in DMC and Krennic. This was a stash unload purchase. It is Deck the Halls by the Drawn Thread. And they sent two of the six dinky dies it needs, so I'll get the others and hopefully have this finished by Christmas time this year. Then we got Spangled from Long Dog Samplers. Um, I saw this in one of the Long Dog groups and they had done all the stars in beads. I'm not that dedicated. I'm probably, I'm thinking I might do them in metallics um, just for an extra little shimmer, but this is a down the road project that I just couldn't pass up. So then I saw um, Rolodex stitches, Carla stitching this, and she showed this off in one of her, her first floss tube video that I watched. And I asked her where she got it and I hunted it down and it comes from a shop in Virginia beach. Um, I think it's called dying. Dying to stitch or dying for dying to stitch, yes. And you can see the address in the um, down here on the bottom to look them up. They have the exclusive rights to this chart to buy. Um, and it was like twenty one dollars with shipping, so so I immediately kitted it up. Um, this is it's Looking Glass fifty five count linen. Yeah, fifty five count from under the sea fabrics that that's gonna go on. And I'm going to use this um, really pretty bluish periwinkle color. It's called Dream Time from Dinky Dyes. I think it'll be really pretty on the fabric. So that's all the pre-market haul I got. Um, like I said, I went with my friend Karen. She is the designer for Meridian Designs. She released a couple new designs at Nashville. And we were roomed next to my friend Marie, who owns Just Add Needles. Uh, my first piece of haul was this cute bag set that Marie makes. Cute snap bag, project bag, and like a tool bag. I keep my highlighter, my scissors, and needles in there. She makes these bags to sell. They're on her Facebook group. If you look her up, just add needles on Facebook. Uh, I got this cute little whale scissor fob from the Primitive Hair. Um, I thought he was adorable, so I picked him up. And then, if you're sensitive, turn away, but I got my needle minder that I saw Steph from Just Keep Stitching. I had to pick this up from Accoutrement Designs. We visited Krennic and they had some scissors on clearance. These were $5. They're just pre-max green scissors. I thought were kind of pretty, so pick those up. And Marie had my Enchantress of the Abyss to pick up at market. I have all the threads and the beads for her, so she's kitted ready to go once I decide on a fabric. This is Go With The Wind, a Nashville. All these are Nashville releases that I picked up by Manny Didana Designs. This is Steampunk Luna Moth by Fireside Originals. Uh, she has, or it has chains and hooks and a moon crystal and different crystals and parts of her. So um, calls for eight weeks dye works and four gentle arts. So nice little design to pick up. This is the Lottie Da Quaker 
from La Di Da. They had this model stitched and displayed and I thought it was really pretty. The colors are um, just two colors, DMC 3371 and 632. So find me a light colored tan to put this on. This is Butterfly Bliss, um, a smaller companion to the Dragonfly Dreams that I just showed by the Blackberry Rabbit. This is one of my friend Karen's Nashville exclusives. It will be available soon. This is the first in her series of uh, BB Baguette's Bakery. This is Rose and Vanilla Cupcake. I picked up Fox and Friend from Teresa Kogut. She was super nice. Um, we met her in her room and she was very friendly. Her She had finished several designs that she'd taken these old books, like really old books and fr like flat fold finished them. They were really cool. Um, yeah, this mermaid, I'm gonna show the name cause I'm not gonna try to butcher it. <laughs> And it's by Quarry Batacor. Um, this is Plaid Tidings by Little Girl Stitcher. Little Stitch Girl. They had these done up and the plaid really showed when they were stitched, but they're super cute. This is Salem from Jardin Privé. Another Teresa Kogut. Uh, this is Strutton. I thought this reindeer was super cute. So into my bag he went. This was an exclusive last year between Ink Circles, Hands On Design, and Summer House Needles Dance. They had the pattern this year at Nashville. Um, so pick that up as well. I picked up the Ink Circles Elemental Dragons Earth and in talking to Tracy, the designer, she said that there's going to be earth, wind, fire, and water. And lo and behold, I left Nashville with the model stitch for the water dragons. So that'll be out after I finish that. Picked up the queen that was from Ink Circles. Little skull and crossbones with her metallic, metallic crown. the folk art sampler from Tiny Modernist. She's so cute. These rabbits are adorable. Um, this is a national exclusive. So when they say national exclusive, I learned that that means for four weeks, only the shops that attended Nashville are, the patterns are available to them before they're released to Wichelt Hoffman, the public. So in about four weeks time, she'll be out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I met Michelle Bendy, Bendy Stitches. She was so nice and I picked up Literary Alice because I love Alice. Um, I tried to pick up We're All Mad here, but it didn't make it into the bag. So it's been ordered and that'll be coming too. But I think this is super cute. And then I met Jody from Satsuma Street and she said that I was her number one male stitcher. So that was... She was so nice, friendly. Her room was so bright, colorful, and you just walked around, you, you just felt happy when you were in that room. And I picked up um, Pumpkin King Nutcracker. I believe it's also a Nashville exclusive kit, but it will be released if it isn't already. And I picked up it's a nine part pattern from Annie B's Folk Art. It's the Snowy Nine Patch. They had it stitched in the room and it was so adorable. My, I was with my friend Emily and Lori and Emily picked it up as well. So might both stitch this together at some point. <laughs> I also picked up Leo from Satsuma Street because I'm a Leo and I had to have it. Next, um, 
went with my friend. I picked up patterns from my friend Aaron at Autumn Lane Stitchery. The first was his Nashville release, The Easter Tree. Cute little birds on a limb with these adorable designed Easter eggs on the bottom. Try to get the glare off that. This is Wicked Witchcraft. Again, from Autumn Lane. It's available now in his Etsy shop in PDF and hard copy. This is the Curious Mermaid. She's also now available in Etsy in PDF and hard copy. And this is Aaron's other Nashville release, the Woodland Santa. I love him. I want to start him after I finish the ink circles, so he'll be my next start for sure. He's kitted, ready to go completely. I picked up Hippity Hoppity by Shannon Christine. Cute little Easter design. This is Hunter Gatherer from Rosewood Manor. Move my finger. It's very pretty. Then I picked up the Gingerbread Cottage. On the front, it's finished as a drum. I have zero finishing skills, so I'm going to stitch it just as the full picture there that you see. But it, the, there's instructions to finish it as a drum, so, um, and it's printed as the pattern, so either way, you get pretty much, you kind of get two projects in one. picked up Nellie's from Hands Across the Sea. She was very lovely. Um, she, when we went in there, she asked us what chart we wanted to see, and we said that we wanted to pick up the Nellie's. And she explained that in England, they call, little kids call elephants Nellie's, and there's a song that parents would sing to the kids, and she sang it to us, and she was super friendly. Another Teresa Kogut. Um, this is Heaven and Nature. The raccoon up here is my favorite part of the whole design. I love him. And another Teresa. This is Pet All the Dogs. My life motto. <laughs> There's a dog, I have to pet it. Sorry, my gl the glare is insane today. I picked up Castle Walls from Ink Circles because I hadn't added it to my stash yet. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to change the colors. I'm not so... I'm, I like the blue, but I might think of a green or maybe a yellow or... I don't know. I'm not sure. The blue, I don't, I'm not going to do the blue, though. Picked up Trick or Treat by Twin Peak Primitives. Another Tiny Modernist. This is the Unicorn Tapestry. You hear my dog stomping around the my craft room. <laughs> then I picked up Huckleberry Farm. From the blue flower, who also was, she was super nice. She showed us a, her, she stitches her own model. So she showed us uh, her upcoming design that was, she was stitching. So um, I thought this was, this was one that when I first saw, I'm like, I have to have it. This little bear here dragging down the border cracks me up. And then I picked up fabric for that sampler um, from my friend Susan at Black Cauldron. It's lighter than what's showing. It's called Foggy Bottom. And this is 36 count linen. That's going to go on. Then I picked up a chart I didn't even know was releasing till the night we started the night before market started, so it's called Kringles. It's by Little House Needleworks. It's all one pattern, um, and 
it if you get the threads the um it calls for classic color works it's like a 50 thread pack or something it's an insane amount but it's like a kringles toy shop they have different windows of the store and it's adorable then my last pattern this is egg hunt from satsuma street cute little easter project from jody um, the colors are very pretty very bright in springtime so that is all my nashville haul um <laughs> all of it um there's a couple charts that didn't come in or that were on order so um i'll show those in my next video but um yeah plans now that that model's done i'm going to finish the um ink circles model that i have started probably take a month month and a half to finish and then i want to get back to um a pink sparrow sampler and the hands across the sea sampler those are two projects i'd like to make a good dent on and as far as finishing anything um right now Moonflowers by Mirabilia is pretty, she's maybe about half done. I'd like to finish her. So those are my most imminent plans and starting the Woodland Santa from Autumn Lane Citry as well. So, um, oh, and the Alice in Wonderland stitch along from Satsuma Street. If you haven't heard of it or seen it yet, it's all over Facebook and Instagram. Um, the colors, I have the colors. I just haven't picked my fabric yet, but very bright, fun colors. Um, right now the border's been released, and I think this Friday, part two comes out. So I really need to get on the ball because I bought the threads and the pattern and haven't started it yet. So I'm already behind. I'm about to be two parts behind and I haven't even started, so horrible with stitch long so so that's all for this video um i will be back in a couple weeks probably with another video um hopefully with more whips to show probably more stash and thank you again for checking out my channel and just uh if you liked it like and subscribe for more content and i'll be back in a couple weeks thank you bye